few of you may remember a while back when I decided to use model magic to make a sculpture thingy, whatever, and it was a really complicated way to just do something that could have been really simple if I just would have bought the right materials. But why do that? We like the challenge. So today, I am going to try to sew a duck out of felt and not regular fabric because felt is the easy way out and there's no commitment um, if you don't finish through and it was very cheap. So I'm going to try to do that today and you get to watch me suffer along the way. All right, here we go. So I have here four pieces of felt, three yellow, one orange, and I think we should take the tags off of it first. Okay, so to start out, I didn't really have any plan of what I was doing. I didn't really have any idea of what I was doing either. I was just kind of doing stuff. But I just started making shapes on the felt. This is going to be the duck's beak here. And, oh, what's that in the bottom left corner? That's evidence of my uh, failed first attempt. We don't have to talk about it. So here are the two pieces to the duck's beak, and now it is time to see me struggle trying to thread the needle. Hey, there we go, first try. <laughs> so here is me sewing the beak together. Nothing else is really happening. Now I am flipping what I sewed to avoid getting a seam, because with my minimal sewing knowledge, I know that you gotta do that. And here is the beak. It's very cute. I'm very proud of it. But there's still a lot left to go, so let's get going with that. Okay, so what's going on here is that I freehanded an oval, and then I freehanded an oval again. And then I used that as a reference to freehand a circle to be the duck's head, and that oval will be the duck's body. Then I got to work sewing the duck's head together, and after I was done sewing, I flipped it inside out so that the right sides were facing the outside and there was no nasty seam. Oh look, thumbs up! That must mean things are going well. So then I stuffed the duck's head full with stuffing, and after I stuffed its head, I started to embroider eyes on, and I just took the needle and I went over the same spot over and over again with that black thread to really build up the eye and just give it a nice embroidered look. And here is the finished duck head. No, no, it's not time to celebrate yet. We still have a lot left to go. You know, I think it would have been really nice if I would have gotten more of this in frame, but oh well. Here you are seeing me stuffing the body of the duck with stuffing. Here I thought it would be kind of clever if I did a little Build-A-Bear ripoff, so I cut out and sewed together a heart, and I just stuffed it with whatever string I had laying around, just the scrap string. And Build-A-Bear always told me to make a wish, so here I am, making a wish for this little ducky, and I'm tenderly putting the heart into the duck's body. Yes, so everything is going perfectly. Oh. Just kidding. Did I trick you? And eh, that was pretty good, huh, huh, huh? No, it's fine. I'm just sewing his head onto his body. No big deal. It's reverse decapitation. It's reverse what you were thinking happened. So next, I am freehanding, cutting, and sewing wings for the duck. And then I cut out a rectangle shape for the duck's legs. Now my phone died and I was recording on it, and I really didn't want to have to wait to finish this project until I could film it, so I just went ahead and finished the duck anyway. But I will explain to you, I will draw out what I did to finish this duck. You will see it. You will get the knowledge that I totally possess about sewing. Okay, so I took that rectangle, and then I folded it in half, 
and then I sewed along the sides that I have highlighted in red. Then after that, I flipped it inside out, and then that was the leg. After that, I cut out two feet shapes, I sewed it together, I stuffed it, and I sewed that onto the bottom of the leg, and I attached that to the bottom of the duck. And I did that twice, and that was the two duck legs with feet attached. So here's the finished ducky. His name is Wilfred. Hopefully he makes you as happy as he makes me. I had a lot of fun making this. So I decided to bring Wilfred outside to enjoy the nature. Here is my blueberry plant. There used to be eight blueberries, but now there are six. Darn squirrel. Here he is with my cucumber plant. His name is Pickles. Here's Wilfred with an onion blossom. And here's Wilfred with my tomato plant. <laughs> 